Therese Fountain, Jalen James, the wide receiver split wide for the UNI Panthers. A double tight end situation and Dunn is back to throw. Looks to the outside. That's Therese Fountain, the senior, one of the captains on this year's team. Yeah, good play there. Since the man-on-man -man coverage there, Eli Dunn finding his go-to man, Therese Fountain, on a curl route to make it a little more manageable here. Long here for the UNI offense. Here's Dunn. Back to throw, looking for Fountain once again. Has his man beat on a double move. The receivers in the passing game beat them. And the tough thing with double routes is a receiver has to regain his full speed once again after that. Done back to throw. He's looking for Fountain on the near side. A one-handed grab. Oh, but he was out of bounds. It's incomplete. Great focus there by Derice Fountain, but just a little bit too far outside there by Dunn, not giving him enough room to come down inbounds, but spectacular effort by Doris. Showing off his hands on this one. The UNI offense back out there on the field, under a minute to go in the first quarter. Dunn flips it out to Derice Fountain, and it's a loss on the play. A to his left. Dunn throws over the middle, looking for Fountain to his right, and it was filled for Cal Poly. A good read there by Eli Dunn, but came against the in-state opponent, the Cyclones in Ames. Dunn looking deep, has Darice Fountain in a lot of contact early on, and here come the penalty flags. In the range of Darice Fountain. They call out Dominic Frash. And it was Dominic Frash. B.J. Nard was in pursuit. Eli Dunn looking to throw here on third down. Pushed out of the pocket. Now throws to the end zone. Darice Fountain wide open in the end zone. A touchdown for you and I. Darice Fountain coming all the way across the field to make this play happen. You'll see on the scramble, this wasn't obviously designed, but because Darice Fountain kept working, Kept working towards. And looking to start his FCS season off with a victory. Here's Dunn, back to throw. He's looking deep, looking for Fountain. Goes up for the catch, and it's incomplete. A lot of these deep balls to the receivers have been a little underthrown. DeReese having to come back, and you know, more than likely when you do. 36 yards, that was all through the air, though. Dunn looking for DeReese Fountain through the air by his defender, and Darius Fountain high steps into the end zone. Doing a good job looking off to his right on this slant, which is huge because it draws the safety who's over the top inside. With Nissen the only tight end. It's Jagan in the backfield. And Dunn wants to throw here on first down and has to throw it away. Was looking for that quick wide receiver pop pass to Darius Fountain. Down would be very, very important. Dunn back to throw, looking for Fountain. Looking for his third touchdown of the day. He's out of bounds. He caught it, but he ran out of purple. Performance last season. Yeah, Darius Fountain, and sometimes it's really difficult to do, but we've seen this is the second time now where he's, he's come down with a great catch, but out of bounds. Let the quarterback lead. Maybe a flea flicker um, just to, to free it up and see what happens. Eli Dunn with over 300 yards and three touchdowns on the day and just skips it into the turf. Eli Dunn with three touchdown passes already on the day, looking for number four, Fountain, looking for his third, and he's got it in the corner. Touchdown, you and I. Fountain's height over that defensive back. I mean, Fountain 6'2 in the back of the end lips to try to get that ball out fast enough. Reese Fountain second three touchdown game of his career.